He started his company with some friends at university. 14 years and billions of users later, Mark Zuckerberg found himself at the heart of America's democracy, delivering an apology. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. Mr Zuckerberg is in Washington to explain how the personal details of Facebook users were collected without their permission by a data analysis company, Cambridge Analytica. That company denies any wrongdoing, but there are concerns here that the data may have been used to influence the outcome of America's presidential election. Do you think that you have an ethical obligation to notify 87 million Facebook users? Senator, when we heard back from Cambridge Analytica that they had told us that they weren't using the data and had deleted it, we considered it a closed case. <coughs> In retrospect, that was clearly a mistake. We shouldn't have taken their word for it, and we've updated our policies and how we're going to operate the company to make sure that we don't make that mistake again. This hearing was conducted by people who perhaps wouldn't count themselves amongst the Facebook generation. The senators had been heavily briefed, but they still had some basic questions. Well, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. I see. And yet Mr Zuckerberg's inquisitors weren't slow in getting to the heart of the matter. Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, uh, no. If you've messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that may be what this is all about. The smiles didn't stay for long because what's at stake here is deadly serious for a company built on the vast, unregulated online space to protect people, to protect society. The question hanging over these hearings, how to govern the internet. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.